From Hollywood, where tourists pay $20 to take pictures with out-of-shape superheroes, it's the Josh McCuga Show! Tonight's guest, Sinead DeFries and Ashley Mova. Now your host, the guy who once did Shakespeare in the park and tried to just wing it, it's Josh McCuga. I know, I know, right? What's up, guys? Welcome to the Josh McCuga Show. I am your host, Josh McCuga. I guess that kind of makes sense. Uh, guys, before we get into it, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You guys may notice that we uh, are releasing the shows a little different now. We used to release every Monday, but we're releasing every other Wednesday. Some of our schedules have just gotten a little too crazy. I mean, I'm going on tour with Drake sooner or later. Oh. Later. Probably just going to show him how to actually rap like it was 1995 and not just, ha, 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 look at me. But, yeah, I'll insult Drake. I don't care. He's 5'2". Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> He's not. Tonight, guys, my guest, we have two lovely women here. They've both been on the show before, whether it's Between the Sheets or the Josh Mugu Show. You guys have asked me to get them on together, so co coordinating schedules was a little difficult. Yeah, right. But we got no, them here. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sinead DeFries and Ashley Mova. It's you. Yep. It's us. It's us. Now, apparently, I got a lot of tweets during Comic Con that you guys were acting like you were uber famous at Comic Con. I think what I want to know is like, when you guys first started working together, hanging out, did you guys become fast friends right away? Or did you start as like, I hate the girl, like, hate thing? Where you're like, I hate her. I hate yeah, we thing. hated each we other. We hated each other. No, it was literally so weird because I yeah. thought it was going to hate. You, I thought I was gonna hate all of them that we, we do. Everyone so always thinks they're gonna hate me. It's my no, I thought I was gonna hate all of you. Don't worry, I thought I was gonna hate all was of like, you. Hate. No, I honestly <laughs> thought I was gonna hate Mova first, and I thought you were gonna be the nice one, and then it flipped, and it was Sinead who was the crazy. Why would you think that I'm gonna be? Because you always one. like walk around like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> Is that how I look? Yeah, definitely. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you walk yeah, in the morning you're like, fuck you, Josh McCook. I'm gonna take this Chromecast, and you're like, well, all right, well, fuck you too, Mova. Yeah, take this Chromecast. and then and then you're like really nice in the morning or like whenever you step in, I was like, oh, hey, Josh. And then Mom was like, thank you. I'm like, oh, cool. What the hell? You, you must have us confused. No. <laughs> That's true. definitely Pretty her. sure. True. I think like last week you were like, you sure you want to eat that bagel? I was like. And I was like. You Jesus, burned the first no, one. Buddy. You burned the first one for a <laughs> reason. It's a French toast bagel. <laughs> well. Mm -hmm. Let me. Okay. If you guys could do a dream project together, what would you guys do? Together? Besides the Pretty Little Liars after show. Um, well, check. Um, <laughs> um, together? Yeah, I like don't know. what? I feel like I feel like Ashley and I um, would be really good at just having our Everything. own reality show. No, we'd be we have an amazing reality show. Yeah. What we would really the reality show be based just around? Like our, lives? our lives. Wait a second. Okay, first of all, I know that your life is a one hundred percent disaster because your car has had duct tape on it for like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> what? What happened? And every time I like look in your car, it's just like. It flew off on the way to Vegas. <laughs> what? Yeah, well, I got hit and then it was loose and I was like, ah, it'll be fine. I feel like nine this out of ten girls. <laughs> no, this is like my second car accident this year. She's a great driver. Yeah, right? fantastic. Just say, would you guys be living together in like a condo or would it be like, I'm going to go to Sinead's place, I'm going to go to, because you got, for like a reality show, it's kind of sort of got to make sense a little mm -hmm. bit. Well, I mean, we could live together. I'm sure the fans would love that. Yeah, <laughs> in a high rise in downtown. It's, would you call the show? It's us. It's us. Yeah. With hey, the no, yep hey, bitches. Yup. Yep. It's, it's us. us. Yeah. See, I could totally see that. Like a Bravo reality show. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you were just legitimately a bitmoji. You just did that. I, I did. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you guys like make songs, like rap? Like, what is it? That what is it? Make songs. Why you guys just did that songs? rap. You guys yeah. just did that rap. You're clearly and really impressed by by our rapping skills. Yeah. The rapping skills are pretty good. Yeah. I got them from Drake. <laughs> no, you didn't. You I got did. them from a she did. Good she did. She literally rapper. takes inspiration from Drake in her everyday life. Let me ask you a question. Drake Rock walks into a room, right? Mm -hmm. And he's just like, <laughs> she takes what's his up? clothes off. Drops his pants. <laughs> And you, what's the first thing you do? I look the other way because all the bitches are gonna stare, but I'm gonna play hard to get. <laughs> Melba, good answer. Sinead, what's your answer? I think I would laugh and giggle and run away. <laughs> <laughs> laugh and giggle and run away. And then I'd ask her what it looked like. <laughs> <Do> you, <laughs> so you wouldn't look at it? No. Do you think 
would you rather Drake be in the wheelchair when you're banging the first time, or would you rather like straight up? <laughs> like Degrassi was my favorite show growing up, and I still watch it on Netflix. That's so good. Um, uh, you know, a wheelchair could be like a once in a blue moon kind of That's thing. That's like really kinky though. Like role play wheelchair yeah. sex. Role play, no pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sing, <laughs> Ashley Melba, everybody. That's a clap from the crowd on that hey guys, one. Guys, thanks. Yes, yes. it does. <laughs> the new perfect game here on the Josh Kukuga okay. Show. Okay. We are debuting it tonight. I'm nervous. On this show. It's called Middle School Revenge. <laughs> okay, so here's what it is. So there's a celebrities here, and there's things you would do to them here. It's going to be like okay. Mary Bang Kill, right? Where you pick three celebrities, you pick three things, you have to pick which one you would do to them. All right. Like Middle School Revenge. Are you ready? Cool, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Pick so three pick a celeb? Yeah. Pick three celebs? Pick three. <laughs> All right. Claire Danes in Homeland. She sucks. <laughs> Guy Fieri. Ooh, nice. Nice Rob hamburgers. Kardashian. Oh, okay. Put them on the table. Uh, Put them on the table. It's a rough group. <laughs> it's not exactly. You don't get down with Guy Fieri. You don't I mean, bang that. Revenge things. How about Mova? You pick three. Revenge. Yeah, pick revenge. Okay. Don't look at it. I, I saw the word jerk. Oh. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. Three. There you go. Here. Sneeze on their food. Okay. Fart in a water bottle and seal it. <laughs> Put a flaming bag of poop on their doorstep. I think we're gonna say bag of Cheetos. A flaming a flaming Cheetos? Flaming bag of Cheetos. That'd be a nice okay. that would be nice. So you got Claire Danes in Homeland, Rob Kardashian and Guy Fieri. You have fart in a water bottle and seal it. <laughs> sneeze on their food or put a flaming bag of poop on their doorstep. All right, so I feel like Claire Danes is always stressed out in Homeland. Yes. Yes. And she's always like complaining and she just looks like she's gonna have an aneurysm at mm -hmm. all times. So I feel like we'd have to do the most stressful thing to her, mm -hmm. which is put a flaming bag of poop on her doorstep. So Claire mm -hmm. Danes gets the flaming right? bag so of she's poop. Like, oh my God, yeah. there's poop on my doorstep. And then Rob Kardashian, his family is always wanting him to lose weight. So then you'd fart on his food. Oh. You sneeze on his food. Sneeze on his food. <laughs> you could fart and sneeze if you want to. That would upset him a lot. <laughs> Is there something sneeze? called a snart? Like, you know how there's shirt? Yeah, there's when you sneeze a fart. A sneeze fart? Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> That's a thing. Chew. Like, sorry, that somewhere. probably happens more than you think. I think so, too. I think it absolutely happens. I'm not going to say how I know how, so but Robert I definitely think it happens. Which leaves us with Guy Fieri getting a, a fart sealed water bottle. <laughs> He deserves a fart in a water bottle. Yeah, he's got his glasses tied yeah. like on the back of his head, mm -hmm. and he's like, I'm here at this diner, they <laughs> farted in my water bottle. Woo! Oh, that is gross. All right, let's hear it for him, guys. Yeah. All right, let's do one more. Okay. So we've got... We've got Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav. Oh, Andy, Andy Dick. Andy Dick, Steve Aoki. Aoki oh, my God, Dick. I love Andy Dick. He's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Uh, you could publish their search history. On the internet. Okay. You throw a jellyfish on them in a shower what? or lock them in a Yankee candle store for a week. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> okay. First of all, throw a jellyfish on them in a shower. That sounds violent and dangerous. I feel like I would definitely do that to Andy Dick. Andy Dick is Wait, the jellyfish. No, in the he's too nice. What? what? Are you, uh, do you know who Andy Dick is? Yes, he talks like this. Yeah, it's in his name. He's a dick and he deserves a jellyfish in the shower. Wait, what's the first Sinead one? makes it. Publish. Uh, publish their, their search history. So That's gotta be Flavor Flav. You know that motherfucker's looked up some weird shit. I was gonna give to Stevie Oki so I could embarrass him, but we can go with Flavor Flav. Or you know what? Now that I'm really thinking about it. I mean, do you it, really want Stevie Oki to smell candles? Like, who cares? Like, you know, Flavor Flav would be like, oh, these fucking candles, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Is that how it would be? You'd probably cry. Yankee Candle! <laughs> what I would Flavor Flav's candle smell like? Like Piss. weed and butt. Like how does Yankee Candle not have a Flavor Flav? I mean, it makes sense, right? If they make it, you know where they got the idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they stole you know what I'm also thinking, though? Throwing a jellyfish on Flavor Flav would be really <laughs> funny. Amazing. <laughs> <He's supposed laughs> to do that. Okay. He would lose his mind. Flavor Flav got a jellyfish on him! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He'd probably cry. <laughs> um, so then... 
Andy Dick's search history is obvious. Do you really want to look at his That's true. Right? Okay, Stevie Oki, I know the least about him. Yeah, okay. All right, well, as long as Andy Dick gets all the nasty candles, I'm good. Yeah, okay. Okay, there we there go. There it so is. So Flavor Flav gets a jellyfish. He has to show. get the jellyfish. That makes yeah. the most Andy sense. Andy Dick gets locked in a Yankee candle store for a week, <laughs> and then Steve Aoki gets his search history published. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he'll write a song about it afterwards. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. he doesn't write songs. He just well, you know, he'll make takes songs beats. from other people. Yeah, exactly. And he, and That's what I meant. publishes yeah. his iTunes, mm -hmm. basically. Mm-hmm. Middle school revenge, guys. Love it. Damn. Sinead DeFries, Ashley Melba. Come on. Happy. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. The Josh McCuga Show is brought to you by Rebel Coast Winery, makers of Reckless Love and their classic white Sunday Fun Day. This kind of tastes like one time I bit a DVD. That wasn't terrible. Shut up. She said she was 18. It kind of tastes like that one time I fell in an elevator. Find it wherever wines are sold because it's the best wine around and it gets you really hammered and it'll probably find you your future ex-wife. All right, guys, welcome back to the Josh McCuga Show. We release episodes now every other Wednesday, so tune into the channel for full episodes like the one we've got going on right now with Ashley Moba and Sinead DeFries, the, the two lovely laters, ladies, laters? Laters. Lovely ladies uh, here with me right now. Now, I think most of the world wants to know, what's it take to get the heart of an Ashley Moba or Sinead DeFries? What's like your ideal guy look like? My number one is confidence. Like that is my number one. Really? You can be the ugliest motherfucker if you have confidence. But, but let's be I know. I'm so serious. Like confidence is swag. Like just the way you carry yourself. I've thought so many ugly guys were attractive just because of the way they carry. She has themselves. a thing about it. Like if a guy is just like confident, like I think and you're like, attractive. Doesn't let up. up and is just like all on her shit. She melts. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. Really? Like mm -hmm. right? Now. So like okay, I'll, let's just throw out a hypothetical here. Um, Guy Fieri <laughs> walks in, yeah. right? Bring it up our, guy, our, our big guy, Guy Fieri. Yeah. And he's like, Loba! <laughs> feeling it! <laughs> Woo! Grilled cheese! But and that's not like, that's, that's not, not, no, but that's, you're not like, that's not confidence. That's not swag. That's not confidence and right. swag. It's yeah. just like someone screaming in your yeah. face. That's <laughs> not swag. Grilled okay. cheese! <laughs> <laughs> Backwards sunglasses! <laughs> I don't think he actually yells that. He just does that. He just well, he does a little bit of both. It's become the Guy Fieri like. episode of the Josh McGuire show. I know. Okay. Is this episode like sponsored by Guy, Guy Fieri? Guy yeah. The dives, <laughs> drive-ins, and dives. Um, okay, so you say that, but okay, you guys are a little bit younger than me. What What is like a little, little bit? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this shit. You know what? You're right. Um, <laughs> What what would you like? What swag then? Like what? Like like walking in like? No, no, just like <laughs> that. So like nice. don't ever do that again. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I regret it as soon as I started snapping. <laughs> so, yeah, that's like that, that's right. not swag. Uh -oh. um, no, that's the opposite yeah. of swag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey guys, you guys Whoa. like to squares. Um, hey no. gals, you come to this pub often? You guys want a white wine? Wow. You have to be like sexy confident. It's like mm -hmm. not even a, sexy though. It's but like, like having a an air about you. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you know what? No offense. She kind of likes a little bit of arrogance too. Oh, really? I do. I'll admit it. Yeah. Yeah. I like, do. What, but what, what do you mean by arrogance? Like, fuck you? No, thing, no, 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 no. Like, I'm the shit. I'm, I'm the shit. I'm the shit. <laughs> yeah, like if he knows that he's hot and he's also like just that's what it is. That's what the confidence is, knowing that you're hot. Mm. Yeah, because then it's like, yes, I got that. Mm -hmm. See, I can't are, are handle you, that. What's well? So, so you were the flip. I like confidence, and I like a guy that's like that goes for it. But at the same time, I also appreciate like sensitivity. So, if a guy, if I meet a guy in a bar and he like takes forever to say hello to me, but like I know that he's like looking at me all night, then that I would be so attracted to that. Oh, that was cute. <laughs> Like if I see someone you. making eye contact with me, but I know that he's have like thinking of the right. Have you ever been the, the one right. to go over and been like, you should have talked to me 20 minutes ago, like in Good Will Hunting? <laughs> been like, I've got to leave now. I've been waiting all night for you. Come over. I'm doing a new driver. <laughs> uh, I've been waiting all night for you. Come over. And you're like, oh, no. I'm... No, uh-uh. No, I, I, don't, I don't usually approach. Okay. Because I'm I actually a very approach. awkward human being. I don't think so. I am. I, I really am. I, here's the weird thing is I would think Moba's the more awkward of the two of you. And don't what are you talking about? Because you always walk in and you're like, 
I'm a <laughs> and like you grab the book and you like walk by and you're like you're hideous I'm like cool thanks Mama you look great today too as well and also nice uh, and then you always just walk in you have like a you have a makeup case yeah no, the makeup case no purse just like holding the makeup case you have keys. a makeup case yeah. that is like a carry on for a pilot it's like you might as well it's have wheels on it it's got all my stuff in there it's got everything I ever need to survive in that so case so what is like the Josh McCuga survival pack would just be like two bottles of Jack Daniels and a pack of cigarettes. What is yours? Mine is like all my makeup, all my girly stuff, conditioner, hair ties, conditioner, pills. Wait, wait, <laughs> pills, 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 cold medicine, everything. All if a guy specials. opened up, like on on what date would you give a guy like access to the survival box? Never. I would never give my guy access to the survival box. That is just for Sinead. Top secret. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you always and just Mova. walk. Mova yeah. can look inside. Yeah. Mova can look inside. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you do when you look inside? Yeah, <laughs> I, I do that. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> what would you say is like the biggest mistake a guy could make with you on like you're, you know, it's not the first date, it's not the second date, it's not the third date. Like you've been maybe like seeing each other for like mm-hmm. a couple months and you, and he just like does something absurd like what would be something that would really just be a total deal breaker if it's like if they can't differentiate between like their friends and going out with their friends and hanging out with me that's a huge issue but like if we all go out together a huge a huge (laughs) taking out taking out a huge turn off for me is when a guy doesn't know how to behave himself in public Ooh, that's a tough one (laughs) (laughs) Uh, and like is embarrassing like don't be embarrassing and don't be rude to like Wait staff or bartender. No, I'm really nice to bar staff and wait yeah. staff for sure. Yeah. But am I? I'm, I love going out. I go out a lot. Okay. I go out a lot. My friends are like the one person that's like the one person. The one. The, the, <laughs> the people. The people that are would tell me like if this is a yay or an yeah. a. Mm. Like we do this all the time. It's like, yeah. what do you think about Should this? Try yeah. To appease the friends more. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, we ask each other's opinion. I on know it's guys terrible. All the time. It's terrible. Yeah. It's literally the most ridiculous thing ever but yeah. it's true not a, not at one time goes like goes by that Ashley and I don't see each other that we don't ask the each updates. other's opinion mm. yeah mm-hmm. we should probably start working on angles here. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to the deep end how about that all right uh, we're gonna spin the wheel of questions uh, you know they got some embarrassing questions on there if you don't want to answer it you don't have to all right but let's I would do prefer this. that you did okay spin no it pressure. let's get weird so weird Mm-hmm. This is stressful. I know. It is very stressful. Uh, your happiest moment. Oh, I think yes. when we I were on, it I wasn't think, on the Mexican cruise because you cried was, in a guy's <laughs> lap. <laughs> I think it was when we were on ABC Family. Yeah, that was like such like a surreal. Like work-wise, yeah. for sure. Like um, the first day when we first showed up to that. Side. When we were oh that and then the what commercial was, the ABC was like was insane. insane. Oh yeah, when we we had. Uh, we did a couple of things on Freeform, Super Fan Suite that we hosted. Oh, cool. And it was like our first big network thing, and it was amazing. It was um, like really surreal. When we first saw the commercial, that was pretty Yeah, great. I think I hugged a stranger, and they are like, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, I don't know, yeah, I'm sorry. They, they premiered the commercial like while we were watching Pretty Little Liars at the end of it. Oh, cool. So the girls had seen it, and I walked in, and they're like, oh my gosh, you have to see this. And they played it again. It was amazing. It was amazing. Look at you guys. <laughs> it was amazing. I, I honestly think that, uh, I mean, I know we have a lot of fun in this episode, but I think both of you are amazing. And, You're right. Uh, Thank you. We know. I think <laughs> yep, it's yeah, us. It's us. It's, it's us. us. Crushed it. Um, and uh, I want nothing but the best for you guys, and I wish you all of the success, honestly, because uh, working at Collider, we do work with a lot of amazing people. I really think so. And uh, you guys are just always like a bright, shining part of that, that place. Someone said to me today, they were like, everyone at Collider seems like they're like really good friends IRL. Yeah. And I was like, we actually are. Yeah. That's adorable. As soon as this camera stopped rolling, we're, we're not like, hey, fuck off. Okay, this show's Yeah, it's not ever it's awkward. Right. Everyone gets along. Yeah. Exactly. It's wonderful. All right, let's go into three for the road. It's three minutes rapid fire questions. Okay. You got to okay. go in three. Two, one, go. Have you ever been blacked out drunk? Yes. yes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? <laughs> Sesame Street or Fraggle Rock? Sesame, Sesame Street. Street. What the hell is that other one? <laughs> Fragile Rock? Fa- uh, <laughs> yeah, they're, that's, you're, a little, you're a little young for that. Uh, favorite Girl Scout cookie? Uh, mm. Thin Mints. Uh, Frozen th- in the freezer. The um, What's the other one with the coconutiness? The coconut? Uh, Smell? Yeah. Smell yep. it. Smell it. There we go. Is Sexy back? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Indiana Jones or Han Solo? Indiana Jones. Han Solo. Ron Burgundy or Ron Swanson? Ron Burgundy. Who the hell is Ron Swanson? Oh, there? God. Sinead, you host a TV talk show. It's a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to cut this. Ron Burgundy, Ron Burgundy, Ron Burgundy, Ron Burgundy, Ron uh, Burgundy. You ever gone whitewater rafting? No, no. what am I, white? <laughs> yeah, and do we live in, like, Missouri? It's, like, the whitest thing you can do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Uh, did you ever beat Oregon Trail? Yes, I did. Yeah, hello. Hill. Obviously, of course. I loved Oregon Trail. Uh, you ever used a park bench lawyer? No. no. My cousin Her died noyage. Thanks, hello. God. Hello. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. Uh, did you have a stuffed animal growing up? Oh, yeah, Lanny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was yours? I had a uh, Build-A-Bear. Oh, hmm. that's cool. Fancy. 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 Uh, Martini or Manhattan? Martini. Martini. Do you floss? Mm, sometimes. Sometimes. Mm. If you owned a bar, what would you call it? Laundry bar. <laughs> I've already put that into What? It. <laughs> I love it. I have to think about that. It's, it would be a laundromat call... slash bar. You could do your laundry there. Oh, Don't fucking steal it, you guys. I was going to say you could call it. Yep. It's a... <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay. Uh, when you blow some steam, what do you do? Drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. You ever watch a full episode of Cops? Yes. Yeah. Huh. Name brand or store brand? Name brand. I mean, unless it's Sprouts. I love Sprouts. <laughs> sprouts? They don't have Sprouts anymore? Do you have any That's stickers sprouts. on your car? No. That's good. Stickers on my car, stickers on my car. No, besides, besides, besides the duct tape. It's not the duct tape, it's gaffer tape. I'm fancy. Can a guy with chest hair wear a deep V? Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, I guess he's buying some deep Vs. <laughs> uh, do you collect anything? Uh, yeah, I have seconds. I have those pops, I guess. Like, little pop like those, uh -huh. yeah, You're like a collider person. Yes, little loser in my closet. <laughs> I don't I don't collect anything. No, yet. nothing. I'm so lame. You ever punched anyone in the face? You want me to do now? <laughs> Keep punching it. No! <laughs> totally kidding, no. I have punched someone in the face. Oh my gosh! Sinead was kind of a, she nasty. Yeah. Sinead, yeah. You, you know, whatever. Uh, are DJs just people who are good at iTunes? No, they're gods. That, that, was, that was pushing it, sorry. No. Melba. No, they're great. 15 yeah. seconds. They're great. Uh, you win the lottery. What's the first thing you buy? Ooh. First thing I buy? Mm -hmm. A house. Yeah, a house. For my parents, too. Oh, yeah. oh five seconds. Uh, you ever had a perm? No. Uh, where's your favorite pizza place in the world? Thomas. Uh, Britney Spears or Christina Aguilar? Britney Spears. Oh, there we go. Perfect answer. Simultaneous. Sinead DeFries, Ashley Melba. Uh, the, the, just two lovely, lovely people. I thank you guys for being on the show. And, Thank um, you, Josh. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of fun. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching this episode of The Josh Makuga Show. We release episodes every other Wednesday, so subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Go to Facebook. I'm also there. Support our Patreon campaign. If you're watching The Josh Makuga Show, you're doing something right. And that something right is giving random people hugs when they don't want them.